right, what's happening, y'all? It's me, your resident supervillain, Mr. J. Washington, and I'm here with my reaction for the first official trailer for Black Panther Wakanda Forever, and I had to say it that way because the trailer we got back at Comic-Con was a teaser trailer, which is weird because it was like the length of a regular trailer, and uh, Marvel was like, yo, they dropping this this morning, and um, I'm not ready. I don't know if you, shout out to everybody who watched the original trailer reaction, Martin Morrow and I did in the car, but we watched the trailer on my tablet. We literally watched it on the tablet and recorded it on my phone. And everybody was like, you just see this, you see that? I was watching it on the fucking tablet. But um, there's so much, man. So much with this. And uh, the emotion, you know, we saw the suit, the new Black Panther suit. We know it's a woman in that. We saw that in the last trailer. Angela Bassett with the powerful street speech. I'm queen of the most powerful nation on the planet. My entire family is gone. The funeral of T'Challa. I just, you know, I was, I cried. You know, I cried like many others did. And I don't know if I'm ready to watch this in full. Just as much as I don't know if I'm ready to watch the movie. Because again, we're still mourning the legacy of an actor gone way too soon. And Chadwick Boseman. But... Uh, I'll let the emotion come later. I'm gonna watch this trailer with y'all. Y'all gonna watch this trailer with me. I'm not ready, but we're gonna see what happens. In three, turn the volume up. Two, one, now. Uh, the helmet. the most broken people. Can be great leaders. Hey, fit the incando, must she need a pee? Yeah, post the twenty and two, must she need a pee? Yeah, and she His people did not call him general or king. They called him Kukul Khan, the Feather Serpent God, killing him will risk eternal war. He's coming for the surface world. Okay. We know what you whisper. This shit look cold. And in another powerful Angela Bassett speech, we hear you whisper, their protector is gone. Now is our time to strike. And then y'all to catch it, show them who we are. Remember in the first one during the trial, she told Chadwick, show him who you are. This is that Wakanda standing together, bro. This shit is sad. Oh, man. You still feel the loss of Chadwickiness, but it still moves the story. And again, we get more, I'm not sure exactly if it's Aztec, Mayan, or if it's a hybrid of both with Namor, but to see him called Kukul Khan, the feather serpent god, I don't know if y'all ever remember the movie Apocalypto directed by Mel Gibson. 
But the scene where uh, the tribe, the tribal people were being sacrificed, that was the god they were being sacrificed to, to Kuku Khan. And so to know that that was he is referenced as, and even for Namor to say, it takes broken people to be great leaders. Wow. Like the emotion, dude, seeing Denai Guerrero in tears, yo, I used to break when I saw her as Michonne in tears in The Walking Dead. I'm happy to see Riri Williams Mark One, you know, to see her in her version of her suit. Um, there is just so much, and I know there's so many people that still are with the rich cast of Chala movie. Shout out to the homie E Man, and um, I think we just have to wait and see when it comes to recasting T'Challa. I don't think he's gone, gone. I think this T'Challa's gone. I think we'll get him back. I think let the 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 cast and crew pay honor and tribute the way they felt best i know we as the fans have our own thought process and what we want but i i'm not okay i'm 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 there's so much action but emotion that just came through this and like out the gate holding his helmet and in the end, if you remember, I want you to go back to the original Black Panther movie. And I want you to remember when he first, you know, when they were on the uh, the the Royal Talon and he put on the helmet and then he drops down and then we see at the end, sure, he drops down the same way. And that Black Panther suit is cold. It's a hybrid of the new suit she got to T'Challa, the Golden Jaguar suit that uh, Killmonger wore. And, wow. Now, I believe that Shuri or maybe even Riri are going to manufacture a heart-shaped herb. I don't know if there was one stored away or something like that. Because remember the last one that was stolen by Nakia, she gave it to T'Challa at the end of the first movie. But there's so much. And the runtime has come out. It's like two hours and 47 minutes, something like that. She could be four hours and 27 minutes. I'm still going to watch it. I. I grew up as a Black Panther fan. I will openly say that. I said it when I watched the other trailers. And when I saw him first come on the screen in Civil War, I was happy. When I saw he was getting a movie, I was elated. When I first saw the screening, the first screening I got to see a Black Panther, I was in fucking tears. I was in tears. And then, now this... And then to lose Chadwick and then seeing these and I'm still here for I made sure I wore my Black Panther shirt to do this. Um I'm excited. Namor looks badass. I was not familiar with uh, Tanaka Huerta until I recently saw the Forever Purge. And dude, him flying them wings don't just look like little wing. Them wings look like they give him the boost to go and him fighting through and fighting in Wakanda. I, I just want to know what's next, and I'm excited to see it in the theaters. I want to know what you think in the comments below. As always, y'all, keep it civil. We are talking about comic book movies. We all got our feelings about them one way or another. There are a lot of people who know nothing of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, who know nothing of Marvel, shall I say, except through the MCU. So a lot of these characters are brand new to them, but they are learning to enjoy it just as much as we are. I don't go to everybody and say, well, you got to remember the Christopher Priest run. Or you got to remember the ta Heasy Coach run. I don't want to do that. Let people enjoy this. All right? Find me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Mr. J Washington. The Mad Titan Podcast, everywhere you get your podcasts from. Uh, American Gigolo, available on Showtime. You can check it out on Hulu, Paramount Plus, get Showtime directly, or Amazon. Yes, I am an American Gigolo. No, I'm not a Gigolo. Not yet. We don't know what's happening. But, uh... <laughs> Check that out. I will holler at y'all later. I'm emotional right now. I'm out. Take care. Bye.